she wants you to do what you do on her song. So I go, I get to ruin every song. I get to take great songs like Umbrella and, you know, and I get to like, you know, make it rock. And they've been great about letting me be me. And I thought, wow, that'd be exciting to come in fresh with all these great songs you've been hearing through the years and actually add, add what you love to it. So hanging out here in Paris, France at the airport, and I'm joined by no other than Nuno, yes, who sir. has been killing it mm -hmm. every night. I think of everyone on stage, Rihanna included, you've probably been having the most fun. Really? I, that's what it looks like. I think I'm like, gonna have to least. agree with you. I think right. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. No, man, it, it is fun. You know, it's the, playing these songs and being a being a guitarist that's coming in and and knowing that there isn't a lot of guitar on these on the records themselves and, and given that freedom to you know to really come in and like just do your thing over them and kind of get to give them a little bit of an edge. It's uh, it's fun, man. It's really it's a lot of fun. And I've also noticed that you've not only been having fun, you've been adding elements of other stuff in. Yeah. Talk about that. Look, you know, when uh, when I was approached to do this originally, the, the first, the, my answer was when they asked, I said, why? You know, because I, I, you know, even songs like her great song, like Umbrella from, from you know, her early records, there's not a lot of sort of uh, edgy sort of heaviness there as far as guitar goes. So to come in and, uh, and somebody to tell you, you know, actually make it harder, you know, make it heavier, make it rock out a bit, that was like, you know, that's what I wanted. That's all I needed to hear. When you do a Rihanna show, as a musician, you got to go from like, uh, you know, like a club techno track to to man down reggae track right. to like an R and B track to an acoustic track. So it's like you got to put on a lot of hats and, and culturally know how to like adapt. Tell me the story of how you heard about this tour and what your reaction was. First, I thought, wow, doing seven shows in a row is not a big a, big a deal for musicians because you can go up on stage with like a 103 fever and get through it. But as a singer. You know, there's a reason why the biggest singers in the world don't do more than two or three in a row, and then you have a day or two off. Right. For Re to even agree to do seven in a row with press around watching and everybody being there, I thought like, wow, that's that's pretty gutsy. So I'm I'm, I'm proud of the fact that she's actually like agreed to do it and is going for it. And now I've watched her, even though I've been with her for three years. These last three shows, I've watched her almost like get, be liberated. You know, watching her, even from the first night in Mexico, watching her body language and going like, all right, this is different. I just got my band around me and, and here I am with this crowd right in front of me. To even yesterday, the change, the progression, it's right. growing. Like she's actually, the, sw the swagger that she has now when she's up there is completely different. You know a Rihanna that not many get to know. How is she in a normal circumstance, away from cameras and shows and stuff, just as a human being, as a person, how is Rihanna? No, no matter what I say, I'm gonna have to tell you that it's great. But the good news is, is that it is great. When I was asked to go down to meet her, and it was, it was amazing just how what what what, what how relaxed she was and how undiva like she was. Nice. You know, even when we come into rehearsals and she's just so laid back and she knows what she wants, but she's not the type of person that comes in barking orders at anybody. She just really just listens, pays attention, and just says, "I'm not sure about this," or "I don't want to do this song." You know, I I think she needs to just be as human as possible and to be as, as regular as possible because it's hard, to, it, it, it's hard to go out and do something simple like that because everybody just looks at you like kind of that, that animal in the cage. Right, right. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that you know, she's a friend. When you guys are backstage, every band artist has a pre-show ritual or like some, some superstitions are there. What are the <laughs> rituals backstage? Superstitions. We always look forward to, to prayer with her because that's when we know where she's at. And, uh, and, and some days she comes in and we're all, you know, we're all, we all, it's the band and her, and, and, and in some cases dancers on tour. And I think uh, that's when we know where she's at and whether she needs us that night a little bit extra. And I think that's the most important part of what before we go on is prayer. Sometimes she'll go on one night and she'll go, I'm nervous tonight. And she'll tell us, like straight up in prayer, she goes, I'm, I don't know what it is, I'm really feeling nervous about, it might be the New York show, it might be an LA show. And, we're, and we have to like reestablish her, like who you are and what right. you've done. And, and this is your house, this is your show. And, and, and she does the same thing for us sometimes, you know what I mean? When we have trouble at home or, or stuff is going on, you know? The 777 tour is unique in that it's seven countries in seven days. So does that pose a unique challenge as well? You know, <laughs> I, I thought I thought when they first said that I thought you know in my in my head it kind of was it looked simple to me 
band. They said, well, we're going to simplify it. It's just me and it's just me and you guys, just the band. We're going to do this thing. And I thought, that's easy. But then they said, no, wait a second. We're all we're going to do it in seven days. But we're, we're, then I saw where we were going, right. like the, the, the skips that we were doing. And then I thought, oh, that's even possible. They said, no, no, no. We're bringing like 150, 200 people with us right. on the plane. And we're going to move everybody. And we're going to make this happen. And I thought, wait, wait, wait a second. What are you talking about? It, it started getting way more complex than I even imagined. And the fact that, you know, just looking around and looking behind us, the fact that it's 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 being pulled off, I, th I think it's a small miracle, you know, that it's happening. And I told her, I said, uh, last show, seven shots in seven minutes. <laughs> so that's what we're, that's how we're going to end it. Nice. Seven shots in seven minutes and seven bars. We're going to see if we can make it happen. That's wild. You're taking it, <laughs> you're taking it elsewhere now. Yeah.